So you may have recently seen that I've recently traveled to London and during my travels, I realized something and something that all the engineering community has, doesn't matter where you are in the world. And engineering has a major problem. And unfortunately for this problem, it's not something that any one of us can solve. We need to come together as a community to solve this issue. And this was beautifully addressed in the inaugural speech for the incoming president, I struck D. As structural engineers, we have a unique opportunity to apply our skills to address climate change with urgency, to enhance public safety, and to foster a more equitable society. This is engineering with purpose. And it's two faceted nature. The fact that we both got people problems and environmental problems, both that are coming together at the same point. And we need to come together and solve the problems that we are best at and we have the most passionate for. My name is Brendan, your structural engineer. Now let's get into it. You see, the construction industry currently has a problem. And we can see this in some of the stories recently, especially down in Sydney. We have many buildings having issues. These buildings aren't necessarily just from the engineer's fault or the builder's fault. It might be a combination of both. Who really knows? We need to break down each location for the specific problems that they have had. So this is really requiring us to come together, reaching out to universities so that students can understand what we need to do and what they can focus on. Reaching out to other clients, even architects, you can potentially get new work from your little bit of knowledge sharing and passing it on to other people. Another aspect to it is bringing people of all different areas and backgrounds. So encouraging people to join the engineering and STEM community. Because without strong STEM skills, where are we really? If you're at work, do you find people that are struggling? Can you reach out to them and have discussions and try and help them out? So giving them great mentorship. The other aspect to it is bringing the community along for the ride. A lot of the time we talk within our personal space. We talk to other engineers. We talk to other people within the construction industry about the problems that we have. We don't communicate this to the public very well. So this is about raising the knowledge in the public about how we can solve some of these major problems coming into the future. And through both combining different ideas from the community, different ideas from architects and different ideas from engineers, we can come together to have a better environment that's better for everyone, that's more holistic and cheaper so everyone has a more enjoyable time. Quite often as engineers, a lot of the stories we hear is about these buildings falling down, collapses in other areas. It's all these negative aspects. So when people think about engineers, they just think about the negative side effects, not really the benefit that we bring. And doesn't really allow for other people to come into the industry as they see the negative things. Why do I want to be an engineer? However, us as engineers can help really shape society, bring it into the next age. While focusing on people is crucial for us bringing engineering forward. And in the built industry, we have a big effect on it. Did you know that concrete accounts for 10% of global emissions out of everything? Just the concrete we put into the ground. So we need to make sure that we're using structure efficiently and addressing it in other ways where possible. So how can you go about pushing projects in the right direction? As most of the time you have those discussions, it's just about cost. But this is really where we need to get into the smarts and showing the savings that you can have through good design. So what's some of the aspects that you can do if you're passionate about the environment and trying to push it into the built space? The easiest one that you can do is looking at alternative materials that are more green. Now they don't necessarily need to be expensive. So you're educating people about different materials that they can use that have a more beneficial effect. Other ones that we really need to focus on is improving concrete. As a concrete I said is one of the biggest aspects. However, it's a great material. So how do you really overcome that? There's different ways that you can do with your mix today with having a reduction in body carbon without any real effect on your structure. And this is through adding different admixtures and different mixes of concrete there. So you can have a significant impact by reducing your body carbon by 10, 20, or even 30% just by using the right mix. And moving forward, we should really improve this even more. Another major aspect is making sure that your designs are lean. You see, most of the time, us as engineers, we can get a little bit conservative and not really want to push the boundaries of engineering or even detailed design. This is about increasing your engineering proficiency so that you're happy with pushing the boundaries where you can do this safely. Just making things more efficient, reducing concrete where you can, reducing the amount of steel. And just by pulling products out that didn't need to be there, reduces the cost of your building, but also reduces the embodied carbon of it going in. Just because it's safer to do so, do you really need that load in there? And even having discussions around loads and other aspects that that building is going to be used for. Do you really need to design it for that higher load? What is the impact of doing so? Now you may be thinking, if I add a couple of bars here and there, is it really that bad? Have a look at how much safety factor you have on top of things. It doesn't mean go below code, but riding the line of code is really where you want to be to make sure your structures are efficient 
and where they should be sitting for the environmental impact. So this is not about knowledge sharing, but improving your knowledge, taking more courses, taking different aspects of some innovative designs that are coming out there and how they can be implemented in your structure. For example, do you know how to do performance-based design? If you don't, it's something that you should probably take up as performance-based design allows you to have a more efficient design. Yes, there's more engineering involved, but once you get used to it, it's really not that hard. Performance-based solutions are not something that means it's less safe. It means it's probably actually more safe if you spend more time analyzing and putting structure where it needs to be, instead of just this blanket rule of where we currently do it, which leads to a highly conservative result. So through us engaging, improving our knowledge and pushing stuff forwards, we can lead to extremely innovative solutions that lead to a better project overall. So what aspect are you gonna do? Please comment below and post it on all your socials. And if you do want to learn something about engineering that you can help improve your designs dramatically, I've got a link to a video here. And if you do want to support the channel, there's two ways that you can do this. You can either become a YouTube or Patreon members. Without the support of my YouTube and Patreon members, this type of content would not be possible. As always, stay safe, keep learning, and I'll see you next week. Bye.